Hello, my Minecraft family, and welcome back to another fantastic episode on the Zetacraft SMP server, where a lot has happened since last episode, and it's only been a week. So uh, there's a lot to get caught up on, so let's see if we can't get you all caught up. First, Boss Builder decided to uh, ask for my help in building a epic mob farm. And when I say epic, I mean epic. Yeah, that's how I got this right here. These rockets in my hand. That's exactly right. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's roll the clip on that and uh, you can see what happened there. So, Mindless, we haven't really done anything together on camera yet. Um, mm -hmm. But you and I have been working a lot together over the last two days. Oh, yeah, we have. So, uh, what, what are we uh, going to be building over here? Well, I think we're uh, going to be building a design that you put together based off of somebody else's designs, which I'm not entirely sure. I think it was Tango Tech, you said, uh, kind of inspired you to build this uh, design. But we're going to be doing a mob farm. And uh, the one you put together is going to be magnificent. It's going to be, uh, what, a quad mob farm with uh, a side of sugarcane. <laughs> so, yeah. so we'll have, like, absolutely all the rockets we could possibly ever need. Along with uh, just about all the bone meal, rotten flesh, and whatever else we can get from the general mob farm. So I'm um, super excited to start working on this. Sweet. Well, honestly, I think you gave it a pretty good intro. And the only thing I want to add is I created the mob farm, but the sugarcane modules are Tango Text. Design. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the correction. So, yeah. So I'm anxious to get started. As you can see, way over in the distance there, we have a whole bunch of stuff going on. That was our staging area. And uh, now we've moved the actual materials over to here. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can begin now. Perfect. Let's get building. Man, boss, you put together one heck of a design here. This mob farm is absolutely amazing to look at. And uh, how are yeah, the rates? Yeah, and it, it works well. So we AFK'd right. uh, for, what, a couple hours uh, last night to test it out? Yeah, so we did like a double AFK session where we both kind of were up there AFKing, so we were doubling our mob cap and... Uh, we got a lot. I, I already crafted a whole bunch of rockets, as you well know, since I just gave you a shulker box of them. Yeah. But on I top got it. of that shulker box, I also crafted six more shulker boxes. Holy cow! Oh, just to man. give you an idea, and we still let's go over here. We still have probably a double chest. Yeah, a double chest of gunpowder and a little over half of another one. Holy cow, this thing is super efficient. Man, this is amazing. So how's our sugar cane looking? A little bit oh, less nice. than the sugar cane front, but uh, honestly, once we build that third module that we haven't got to yet, yep. we'll, we'll never need sugar cane. 
<laughs> Thanks for uh, inviting me along in this build. I appreciated it. I learned something new about the uh, sugar cane. So, yeah, <laughs> very cool. Look forward to doing some more with you at uh, some point in time this season. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you had so much fun building those sugar cane modules. Oh, they, they were a blast, man. They were a blast. <laughs> It was good. It was a good time, though. And we got little villagers over there kind of working out already. We're going to turn a bunch of them into uh, clerics so that we can trade all of our rotten flesh away. Yeah, uh, it might be good beneficial use. to do some. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I appreciate you working with me so early on this. And uh, I know it was a whole ton of materials to gather in the first week, but I'm glad it's done and we don't have to worry about a mob farm or sugarcane farm again. Yeah, me too. Until next time, boss. Perfect. I'll talk to you soon. Later. See, didn't I tell you that thing was epic? This thing is absolutely amazing. I already have a shulker box full of rockets that uh, Boss gave to me in uh, recognition for the help. So, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, and uh, this? How did I get this? This totem of undying in the first week of the server? Well, let me roll that clip here. Check it out. Oh, geek. How's it going? Hello, 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 mindless. Yeah, what's happening, geek? These tunnels are a maze, man. Surprised I even found Thanks. anybody. Yeah, I'm trying to fix them. See, I put some slabs down, made them a little bit wider. Oh, this was you? Oh, very good work. If you, nice need, you, need, job. you need your tunnel to have some work. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. What happened to your face, though? Whoa, whoa, what's wrong with my face? You're an iron, you look like an iron golem. What? An iron golem? How's that? Why is that? This is weird. Let, let me check that out. Cool. Holy what's cow, I look like an iron on? golem. <laughs> 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 all right, there we go. How's that? Do I look better? Oh, so my, that beautiful face of yours. All right, wow. all right. Yeah, we don't want to cover this beauty up. Definitely not. I have something for you. Oh, what? Well, we had dropped one. Did uh, everybody to stay alive? And definitely you. Well, I appreciate that. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, look at all these totems. Holy cow. Uh, let me get, my, get rid of some rotten flesh. I won't need that. And you're going to make me get out a shulker box, aren't you? All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's put up my starter home. There's my starter home, by the way. You like it? Oh, you got some uh, really nice uh, stuff in it. Yeah, that's my Red starter 23 home. 23 diamond block. Wherever I go, it goes. That's my starter home. <laughs> How do you get so many diamond blocks? That's crazy. Yeah, isn't it? It's amazing. All right, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Put this down. Yeah, I don't have a starter home yet, so I live out of this uh, this ender chest. <laughs> it's working pretty well, but uh, starting to get a little crowded. All right, I mean, look at all those. Man, that's fantastic. Cavern, cavern, so. Well, well, uh, well minus. Be. I'll speak to you later. All right. Enjoy the totems. Take care. Thank you. High five. Oh. Woo! And check our shop out. Love drop. Put it in chat. Love drop. Love drop. Okay, that was uh, <laughs> that was a very interesting meet up with Geek. Um, I guess he's pushing totems on me now. So uh, this might be a good thing because I don't wear a lot of armor, as you can see. So maybe, maybe this is just a good thing. All right, we'll get back to work. Man, see, isn't Geek just an awesome guy? Even though he is promoting drop. Hmm, I don't know. These uh, these totems might have a little bit of strings attached to them, but uh, we'll find out later what the, what drop is all about. Uh, but for right now, since uh, you're all caught up and I'm kind of caught up, well, sort of, what, what's this behind me? Oh, let me show you. This is my makeshift iron farm. Yes, it is. So if we come over here, you'll see that we have trapped ourselves some villagers inside. So, whoops, it's hard to see from there. But I gotta jump a little here. Oh, there you go. You can see I'm running around. So I've captured myself some villagers in there, and I have also captured myself a zombie. We can hear him groaning. He's in there. Let's see. I break this button. There he is. There is our zombie right there. We haven't named him, so maybe you guys can suggest a name for him, and we'll tag him. So they are in there, getting all scared, and in here is where the iron golem will spawn. And he'll get flushed into the killing chamber down here. And yes, we have found ourselves two cats and tamed them up. So we have two uh, two tabbies we actually have to name too. So, man, I'm going to need your help. So please, please leave uh, some name suggestions in the comments. I could really use it for these guys. 
So these golems will come down, spawn, swim all the way over to here, or actually get pushed, killed by the lava. And these uh, hoppers will pick up everything and whammo, look at that. Look at that. Yes, I did a lot of AFK in here because this is not the most efficient farm. It's only like 200 uh, iron per hour. Uh, so this was a lot of AFK, but um, yeah, I got myself all the iron I'm going to need for a while. And while I was afk and helping Boss Builder do his thing and just kind of getting my, you know, just getting my feet on the ground, everybody else on the server's been going hog wild. I mean, hog wild with the starter town and with the shopping district. So we're going to head on over to the shopping, no, not the shopping district. Let's head over to the starter town because we got to get ourselves a plot. All right, here's our portal to starter town. Let's check it out. And it's nighttime, but yes, this is Starter Town. Look at this, people have already gone crazy with structures. So I think this is uh, Ricky's house here. That's Times Tree Tower there. Uh, I know Dio has built something in the middle down and that way. We'll go check it out. There's another thing on the hill over there. There's just so much here. Oh, and then we have this. Payment for Mindless from Dio. No porch pirates. Yeah, so I left him a fully enchanted elytra for... 20 diamonds yes so he uh he left me the 20 diamonds here all right so let's just take that and uh yeah let's go take a look at the rest of this starter town oh it's just such a nice path to walk on in starter town and the and the landscape around here is amazing i love what everybody has done to this so far and we have to find ourselves a nice location for our starter home actually i got to build two so shadow ginger and i are going to build right next to each other in similar styles so we have to find ourselves a good location for that. Oh, here's Diasil's, uh, I don't I guess camp. Yeah, with covered wagons. Oh, I absolutely love this area. Diasil did such a fantastic job with this. Such a brilliant idea for Starter Town. And uh, it's definitely down inside the valley, which is about the only thing that's left because everybody has claimed everything alongside the mountainside. So let's, uh, yeah, I think we found our plot over here. Yes, we have. So I've marked out a section and I'm gonna claim it. Let's get ourselves our homes built. Because right now, my starter home is this, right there. That's my starter home, an ender chest. Everything I own is in these shulker boxes in this ender chest. Ooh, we can add that to our diamond pile. And note, I have 43 diamonds, none of which were mined. Yes, that is right. They were not mined. So far, I have a clean record of not mining any diamonds. I don't know if I'm going to keep that as a challenge or not for the season, but that's the way it is right now. All right, so I think we've got all of the materials we're going to need for these two builds. And uh, yeah, well, let's just get to it, shall we? Hey, there we go, Shadow. We actually have our two little starter homes. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think the starter homes are pretty nice. They were fun. Oh, dude, I totally hear the horn now. Somebody's blowing yeah. the horn. Yeah, that's what I heard earlier. I had no idea what that was. Oh, man. Somebody's got the goat horns going. All right, well, anyway, oh, no. we have a starter home now. Um, we did kind of run out of some materials, so we still have to do the outside and make it look nicer. Uh, we do have to do the inside. We can take a quick look. But uh, as you see, we just have some storage chests, but nothing else because we need to do the decorations on the inside. There goes yep. the goat horn again. Oh, yeah. That is really annoying. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. No, it's funny. It's funny, but at the same time, it's pretty loud. All right. Yeah. And we got the other one over here, which will be mine. And uh, yeah, this one, unfortunately, uh, I used some terracotta. Yeah, I said I wasn't really going to do much terracotta this season, but <laughs> I couldn't stay away from it. So here are our little humble starter homes. Um, and they are very humble compared to some of our surroundings. 
But uh, yeah, I think they work, and I like them. So thanks for all your help, Shadow. Oh, no problem. It was fun. All right. Okay, my fellow ZetaCraft enthusiasts, I think we're going to have to end the episode right here, right now. So, uh, yeah, catch me in episode three. I am out of here.